A tecnologia e a inovação são as forças que nos movimentam. Essa energia leva a conexão de qualidade com preços acessíveis aos locais mais distantes do país, promove a inclusão digital e acelera o desenvolvimento econômico-social dos brasileiros. Muito além da nossa rede de fibra ótica, reforçada pelo satélite geoestacionário e pelo cabo submarino Brasil-Europa, a rede que mais nos motiva é a de pessoas unidas e felizes. Telebras. Tecnologia que une pessoas. Houston, Houston. Hello. Bom dia. Vamos começar com aquela famigerada abertura da Campus Party. <risos> Muito bem, gente. Eu acho que a maioria de vocês já me conhece. Eu sou o Moacir. E eu venho aqui apresentar hoje algo que vai ser muito importante para o Brasil. Eu acho que todos vocês vão gostar bastante. Acho que vocês já sabem pouco do que é, porque já está na tela. Uh, e antes de começar, eu já gostaria até de passar um pouco uh, do vídeo do que, que vai ser aqui na SL. Pessoal, VT, please. Yeah, guys! Agora nós temos a maior empresa de esportes do mundo, finalmente, põe seus pés no Brasil. Antes de começar, eu quero pedir desculpa para quem pegou o headphone, porque eu acredito que o cara que soube quando a ESL vinha para o Brasil, ele deve ter pego e corrido para ver se já conseguia fazer algum jogo online, então o tradutor fugiu. <risos> Mas inglês não é problema para vocês, vocês são todos jogadores, não é isso, gente? É, eu acredito que vocês já conheçam muito bem. Bom, uh, eu vou apertar a minha tecla SAP agora, eu vou começar a falar inglês e eu vou começar a trazer os nossos ilustres convidados ao palco. Now I turn on my SAP teclado. I would like to introduce you uh, the great ones from England, my friend Spike Laurie. Please, Spike, come on. So hopefully, <laughs> yes, you can. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. There we go. Bonjour, campus party. Thank you very much for inviting ESL here to give you this uh, this announcement that we're very pleased to give. Um, it's an amazing event. Looking around campus party, seeing everyone working and playing together in one place, and that's the ethos of ESL too. It's about all the players in the world and the teams in the world and the fans in the world united globally around competitive gaming. Now, ESL is the world's largest esports organization. To date, we've run over 400 events. We've handed out over 15 million US dollars in prize money. Our competitions are broadcast in up to 29 different languages. Last year in 2015, 65 million hours of Twitch content were consumed around ESL events. 10.5 million hours of ESL content consumed on YouTube alone. Those are pretty impressive numbers. Our ESL stadium events set the bar for those who are lucky enough to attend in person or online. At iconic venues like Madison Square Gardens in New York, We continue at ESL to set the bar of internal records, like the 27 million unique viewers who tuned in to watch our Counter-Strike Global Offensive Tournament at ESL 1 last year in Cologne, not to mention the 11,000 people in the stadium at the time, which I was lucky enough to be one of them, 
and it was amazing. But this is all very boring. You're saying, Spike, this is very boring. Talk about Brazil, right? But that's why I'm here, because our focus at ESL is turning to Brazil, on the Brazilian players, on the Brazilian teams, on the Brazilian talent and the Brazilian fans, on you guys. Our ESL national leagues to date have been the bedrock of competitive play around the world, where local teams can play against other local teams, or local fans can watch local streams in their local language. The ESL Brazil Premier League will create the building blocks today of tomorrow's esports athletes and allow Brazilian players to play on the world stage. This is the beginning for ESL in Brazil, and I'm very happy to be able to share that with you today. Thank you very much. Thank you, Spike. Thank you very much. Uh, now I will introduce my other friend. Uh, this is the CEO of uh, MCI, Sebastian Tandewa. Hello, campus. Really happy to be here with Spike. MCI is a global event and community management company. We operate around the world, and we're really proud to partner with ESL to bring esports in Brazil. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, Take have a seat. OK. Have a seat. OK, after this great warming thing, the kick launch for ESL Brazil, uh, I have some questions for you, Spike, first. Uh, Spike, can you uh, give us some tips what will be happening in Brazil with ESL now? So importantly, what we're here to do is kick off our national league, the ESL Brazil Premier League. Our ambition is to start with three games. Uh, Counter-Strike, I'm sure you guys have heard of Counter-Strike. Uh, who's heard of a game called League of Legends? Anyone here? Yeah, good. Uh, Hearthstone, anyone heard of Hearthstone? Good, excellent. So our ambition is to kick off these three titles starting in March. Open qualifiers where anyone can compete and try and prove themselves. And then from then on, a whole season of competition between the top eight teams in each game, or eight players if it's Hearthstone. We'll have a season finals in our new Brazil studio. And then we'll kick straight off again for season two later in the year. So this is your opportunity as Brazil to be able to compete against other Brazilians and to tune in every evening and watch Brazilian broadcasters, Brazilian talent, showing off the brilliant skills in Brazil. Great. Então vocês ouviram, pessoal, vai ter o estúdio da SL no Brasil. Isso é um grande passo. And now I'll turn on of my great guest, Sebastian. Uh, how is the important uh, for MCI? to have a, this huge event in Brazil uh, with this offense of esports, in your opinion? So MCI is really excited. It's uh, a unique opportunity. It doesn't happen so often to consciously experience the development of a new you know, community. Um, and MCI is happy to be part of the adventure. You know, we like to bring world-class um, quality to everything we do. We operate globally in over 30 countries and we're really excited to do with our partnership with ESL. I think Sebastian hit the nail on the head when he said adventure because this is what <laughs> it's going to feel like in 2016. It's an adventure. <laughs> Great. Uh, Spike, and about the players uh, and the teams, did you have some feedback about that? Yeah, I think that, you know, ESL, Brazil has always been on ESL's radar. We, I think that you guys are you know, one of the best communities for gaming in the world. And we've seen that with the Intel Extreme Masters a few years ago, the support for that, the support that our go for leagues have gotten to date. We really couldn't have picked a better market to come and really just have an adventure in with you guys. Um, I believe we've actually got some feedback from uh, Gabriel Fallen, who you all know from the, from the team Luminosity. So let's roll the video and let's see what he has to say. E aí galera, beleza? Eu sou o Gabriel, o mais conhecido como Fallen, sou jogador profissional de Counter Strike já há alguns anos. Eu jogo pelo time da Luminosity hoje em dia, estou morando nos Estados Unidos para poder participar de competições internacionais. 
E além disso, nessa parte como jogador, eu já trabalho há alguns anos já com alguns projetos, como a Games Academy, a Gamers Club, onde o objetivo é a gente fortalecer o esporte no Brasil em vários sentidos, né? desde a criação de novos times, ensinar os jogadores a como participar do mundo competitivo, criação de campeonatos e muito mais. E aí eu fiquei sabendo que o pessoal da SL, né, que é uma empresa que eu já conheço há algum tempo, porque já participei de muitos campeonatos que eles já organizaram, fiquei sabendo que eles estão vindo agora para o Brasil e acho que isso é muito bacana, acho que isso vai ajudar a gente a profissionalizar ainda mais o jogo aqui no nosso país, vai criar oportunidades para que a galera comece a também, outras pessoas que ainda não são profissionais tenham essa chance e tenho certeza que isso vai ser muito importante para o desenvolvimento né, do nosso esporte no Brasil, então eu apoio bastante essa ideia e quem, tiver, quem possa ajudar e tiver à disposição, a gente vai estar aí sempre para fortalecer. Um abraço para a galera da SL. Meu brasileiro em português não é tão bom, Moacir. Foi bom o que ele disse ou não? Sim? Eu não consigo entender a palavra dele. Bem, pessoal, então agora vocês viram que a SL está realmente de pé aqui e está no Brasil definitivamente. Uh, eu vou começar agora a abrir perguntas para vocês, tá? Vão ser três perguntas, mas antes de começar a fazer as perguntas, eu queria falar uma coisa muito interessante. Eu já ouvi pessoas falando que games não são cultura, eu já ouvi pessoas falando que uh, games trazem violência, e eu já ouvi todo tipo de besteira com games. Bom, eu tenho um recado para esse pessoal. Games é cultura, Games é diversão e agora games é esporte. E estamos aqui. Ok, gente? Eu agradeço vocês agora e agora vamos começar com some questions for the audience. What do you think about Spike? Yes. Have you got one more question you want to ask us? Oh. Because it's one I want to answer. <laughs> If you want to answer, because he don't have that. But okay. Anything else you want to say, Spike? Yeah. I want to say one of the biggest questions that we get asked a oh, lot is sorry. about That's Intel sweet. Extreme Masters. Is ESL coming back with another stadium event? You guys want to know the answer to that, right? Well... Did you the, want this uh, Intel Extreme Masters again, pessoal? Well, the, the answer is... Right now, obviously, we're thinking about that. It's something we want to do in the market. It's something that we think we want to bring to you guys. I can't promise anything yet. I can't give you any information yet. But it's something that we're thinking about and that we're thinking very hard about. So right now our focus is on the uh, Brazil Premier League, making sure that the local competition is strong and robust and good. And then with the success of that, I'm sure that we'll once again see a stadium event in Brazil. Okay. Thank you, Spike. <laughs> <laughs> Bom, pessoal, três perguntas. Quem quer fazer? Por favor, em inglês, se for o caso, mas se não, eu traduzo. No inglês, na laça Coca-Cola toda, então, eu gostaria muito que você pudesse fazer a minha tradução. Sou organizador do Gamepolitan, maior feira de games do Norte e Nordeste. E eu vim aqui a convite do Moacir para entender como é que está sendo a, o posicionamento de vocês aqui no Brasil com relação à SL. É, minha pergunta é como vocês estão visualizando o trabalho da, da SL nas regiões do, do país? A gente, o, país o, o Brasil é um país continental, a gente sabe que tem muita da, da esportividade eletrônica vem acontecendo aqui na região do Centro-Oeste, mas como vocês visualizam as outras regiões do país, principalmente o Nordeste? Ok. É uma longa pergunta. Sim. Ele é um amigo meu e ele tem an event in the northwest of the country, and he asked us, uh, how you see the other regions of Brazil? Uh, did you plan to do other regions in Brazil, not only in Sao Paulo? I think right now we want to tackle Brazil as a whole. It's, uh, you know, for me, a white guy coming here, I don't know very much about Brazil, you know, I'm learning from Moacir, I'm learning from MCI, and I'm learning. Um, so that's good feedback. If, if that's what you think the community wants and needs, then send us that feedback, and we'll absolutely, um, uh, think about it and look at it and interrogate those those questions. Absolutely. Ele disse que é para você pegar o feedback da sua comunidade, trazer para nós e a gente vai estudar o que pode fazer, talvez para levar o evento para lá. OK? Mais uma. Hello, hello. Okay, thank you. Um, I I had a question about the you mentioned an open qualifier premiere for uh, Hearthstone players. Uh, I'm a I'm a 
played our harpsoe myself. I played just for fun. I don't think I'm actually any good. <laughs> um, but the, que uh, the question I want to have is, how could I join uh, one of these? Uh, when are they going to happen? Like all those regular information. Great question. So, I mean, the best place to be following us is on social media, on Facebook or on Twitter. Um, we're going to launch a website around the Premier League very shortly. And on that, you'll be able to see all the information that you need to qualify. What's really important for us at ESL is that it's a fair playing field. There's no point in having skill-based competition if it isn't open to everyone who has a potential to play. So our goal is, towards the end of February, that we'd open these online qualifiers for everyone, we'd communicate it out, and give anyone who has the chance, the potential, the desire to compete, that opportunity to prove themselves. Last question. One more question. One more question, please. No questions. It's been such a good panel. No, no. <laughs> Let's have, have someone in the back over there. <laughs> someone in the back over there. Uh, hello, guys from ESL. I'm a Dota 2 player. First of all, I want to thank ESL for ESL New York, ESL Frankfurt, and most recently, the Frankfurt Major that was ESL that organized. And I want to know about Dota 2. Do you plan in Dota 2 for ESL Premier League in the future? I'd love to. I'd love to. I think we want to look at all games. And again, it's for you guys, the community, to feed back to us what you want to see in your territory, in, 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 in Brazil. And absolutely, we'll entertain it. You know, we, we love running Dota competitions. We absolutely love it. We've got a great relationship with Valve. And we love putting on the big events, but also the online cups too. So, sure, but we just need a, more feedback is good. And we'll tailor our program to your country. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Eu acho que é isso. Muito obrigado por vocês participarem. Espero que vocês tenham gostado. E é isso aí. Thank you, Sebastian. Th th thank, thank you, you and train well. I want to see a world champion of Brazil, okay? Come on. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Good job.